So I received a question in one of my comments about auto-scaling with Microsoft Fabric. And I just wanted to answer that today. Um, hi, my name is Peter and I help organizations understand what they can do with Microsoft Fabric, uh, as well as anything else around in the Microsoft Data and AI ecosystem. And the question I got uh, was around, can we have auto-scaling, scaling up and down option like we did with a premium capacity? I think so auto-scaling uh, is certainly the question. Um, the, the, it went on to ask, uh, can it be triggered from a metrics capacity app, uh, like if this, the, the capacity utilization hits 100% and scale it down? So, uh, and this is a response to a scaling uh, video I put out, uh, I think a few weeks ago. Now, I want to talk about auto scaling in Fabric, right? What does, what, what options do you have? And I guess one of the key things, uh, that is important to note is that inbuilt to Fabric, is this concept of bursting and smoothing, which means that uh, Fabric allows you, as I understand it, to be able to exceed your capacity workloads and then it'll smooth that out. Now there's some rules around that based on whether it's an interactive um, or maybe a scheduled background task within time frames. I think it's five minutes for interactive smoothing and um, about 24 hours for scheduled background. But I'll send the links in the documentation in the, in the comments below. So if it, so think about if this little line here is your capacity that you have and you've got these spikes that go up, uh, they get smoothed out. This is, this is not to scale, but smoothed out then over time, um, then you're not going to sort of exceed those limits. So it'll, it'll manage that to you. So it allows you to have longer running tasks um, uh, and, and spikes in usage without having to you know, get too refined and manage it. So it's a bit of a self-managing feature. Um, and the way I've read the documentation and, and read other articles online is that, yeah, this will allow you to move up and down, um, have those, those temporal, temporal pieces where you won't necessarily be limited. But if this happens regularly and averages out above your capacity, then you might need to think about adding more capacity to it. Now, what, how do you best manage that? And so, um, the capacity metrics app, which the, the, the commenter mentioned, is one way you can monitor your workloads absolutely. Um, and that's a really useful way to understand what's going on in your environment. You can set notifications for um, your capacity to see when you might be going over um, hitting these peaks. So that's a good way to sort of, be, you know, at least to know when things are happening. The other thing you can do, if you know what type of workloads they are, is run some pay-as-you-go capacities. Maybe separate some workloads, um, your workspaces, um, to use uh, different amounts, test that out, measure what's going on, and then allow you to make informed decisions around, right, do we then um, create a bigger capacity overall, or we have multiple capacities, so scale up by increasing the size of capacity, or uh, scale out by adding multiple capacities. Um, but using a combination of, if you're finding you hit limitations and throttling a lot in your current capacity, look at ways you can then um, use an app to measure that, look for notifications to be alerted when that ha has and impacts users, and then test out your workloads with some you know, temporary to, to test performance monitoring, and you can make decisions around, right, scale up or scale out. Now, the question also sort of alluded to, can we autom automatically do that? Now, I have investigated this deeply, but there are certainly um, REST APIs, both Azure and Fabric. It's probably going to be, from what I could like I spent a few minutes having a quick look before making this video, but the out-of-the-box Azure, because essentially it's an Azure service, uh, Azure REST APIs are probably going to be the best way to sort of explore that. That would allow you to monitor what's going on in your environment and potentially programmatically increase uh, capacity sizing. Um, but I, I think that would be, if you need to be refining that, you won't be able to take advantage of a lot of things like reservations um, that will give you some great discounts as well. So I would I would certainly... If your workload is up and down and averages out underneath that capacity, don't worry about too much. Set up the notifications, and if they happen, then maybe look at you know, investigating how else we structure our capacities. If you do need more dynamic shifts to cater for that um, and, and be able to, be able to scale up, scale down dynamically, then consider how you might be able to programmatically do that inside of uh, inside of Azure using runbooks uh, and the like. So I hope that was useful around you know, auto scaling and Power BI um, premium that, that you don't need to, that's sort of not the current way of doing it. Look at those, what's out of the box. The link to this documentation is uh, in the comments below. 
uh, in the description and um, hopefully that helps answer how you would do auto scaling in a fabric world.